Yeah, bang, 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 uh, Dave Courtney, uh, years ago, um, I was, uh, my trainer was a guy called Jimmy, Jimmy Tibbet, and we used to go to all sorts of places, different clubs to find, try and find people to fight, you know, because it was quite odd, you know, once you start bashing people up and beating people, people don't want to start, know you know who you are, don't want to fight you. So I was having trouble with getting, getting fights. So anyway, um, I was going to a pub called the Harper one by Billy and Harry Hayward, uh, well-respected people, um, got involved with the Smiths turnout, the Smiths short out of Eddie Richardson, the Richardsons and all that going, remember that? And anyway, we was all we was all mates, uh, good pals of mine, and you know, I remember how we tell him and how we tell him about the cell he had downstairs, any time they felt like doing anything, he'd go downstairs to the cell. Anyway, so, one day, uh, I went to a club in the corner, but what happens, Billy and Harry Hayward wanted me to what, mind, mind the club, look after the club, be the manager of the club, run it, yeah? I wasn't really bothered, I wasn't really interested in that, because I was uh, just doing my unlicensed fighting, I preferred that, and I didn't want to be working in clubs, I was with someone, and she wouldn't like that, and she, she'd get really pissed off and, and leave, yeah? So I said, no, not into that, you know? But he said, you might want to come and look at it, yeah? So I went around with uh, Jim one one, uh, one day. It was, I think it was a Friday night or Saturday night, but it was packed. It was packed in there. Cut the dormant on the front, cut a few dormant inside, packed. Nice big club. And it was across the road from a place called Routon House. Routon House used to be a place where people used to go to sleep at, at night. Massive place. It was made you sleep three or four hundred people. Massive. It was across the road from there, yeah? Well, nearly across the road from there. And he wanted me to look after it. And when I walked in there, I thought, wow, this is some big club. And it was good, wanting to give me good money at that time. And I was I really, I didn't want I, I wanted it, but I didn't want it because it might cause me problems and my girlfriend wouldn't stand for it, yeah? So I'm there with Harry and Bill talking. And all of a sudden, uh, I think it was a Rolls Royce or Bentley pulled up. And it was, I think it was pink one or blue one, I can't really remember the colour, just, but I can remember the colour, this guy got out of the, this guy got out of this car, this big black guy, huge, huge, he had to be 19, 20 stone, I was big myself, yeah, but not muscular, but big, yeah, and this guy got out of muscular, big black guy, and I always thought to myself, is that the black guy that I boxed on young license shows, for Joe Paul and Alex Steen, is that the same guy? Because uh, I remember seeing Dave Courtney down there uh, at the time I did fight this black guy. Was it the same guy? I don't know, but perhaps people might know more now that I put it over. Anyway, so this big black guy got out of the car, massive, yeah, and who come behind? Dave Courtney, but he's got uh, a blue, Purpley blue, I don't know, was, what color, I can't remember, but I know it was a sort of like, very, like a blue purple color. And he got out of the, with his fur coat on, and he had a fur hat as well. And I went, who's that gay geezer? Because, <laughs> you know, just out of the blue, you say that, you know what I mean? Because a big black guy gets out, and a big guy behind gets out, not a big guy, a biggish guy gets out. Uh, with a fur coat on and that, you think it's a bit gay, wouldn't you? I'm coming, I mean, I'm not being disrespectful, I'm thinking how everybody else is thinking. And he walks in, and uh, and all of a sudden, Bill goes, all right, Dave, all right, and, he, and made Dave pay. I mean, he didn't get him for nothing, he took his coat off, and his hat off, and walked into the club. I said, who's that? He said, it's Dave Courtney. But at that time, Dave didn't have that oil again, or didn't have that voice, didn't have that deep voice. And I said, oh, that's Dave Courtney. And I, all of a sudden, it all come back to me that that's the guy who got a new ring with Lenny McLean at the Thomas of Beckett, you know? And that's the guy that Jimmy told me, because uh, Jimmy was always there at the Beckett, uh, other people was training other people as well as what he was training me, uh, that got in with, uh, got in with um, Lenny McLean and got bashed up. You know, and I'm thinking, oh, that's the geezer. Why did he get him with Lenny? Because he's not as big as, he's not that big. You know, he wasn't that big. You know, and then, anyway, and, I, and I'm talking to Bill and Harry, and they said, yeah, that's Dave Courtney, this, that, Dave Courtney. I said, I don't know him, mate. I said, I don't know him. I ain't got a clue who that is, you know what I mean? He said, yeah, he's like 
you know, he does a bit in balsa work, a bit of mindliness, that and the other, does this thing on clubs. He's coming here, he thinks uh, that he's going to put some doorman on, on my door. He said, I'm not having it. That's why I want you to work my door, right? He said, I'm not having Dave come here thinking he can put people on my door, because he hasn't. I mean, he isn't going to do that. No way, no way can he come down here and put people on my door. But he's in there, Dave, you know what I mean? And he was just in there talking to people, talking to a doorman and all that. And then Jimmy and then Jimmy Tibbet walked up to him and uh, started talking to him and pointing to him. I don't know what it was about, but he pointed at me, you know, not that, not that. Because I always, when I come to having a fight with someone, I always nod to Jim and this, that and the other. But he's talking to Dave and he's nodding to me. Oh, right, right. And I, it might, that might be the black guy that I fought because Dave's, you know, talking to him. I don't know, you know. So people that are watching my watching my podcast on my channel on my video might know who this geezer is because this black guy was a big guy, powerful guy, and I remember when I had that fight uh, for Joe Pole and Alex Dean that this guy was a big guy, like muscular guy, you know, and this is the guy that smashed bashed me up. Is it the same guy? I don't know, but people would know maybe. I wish Dave Courtney was around today, rest in peace Dave Courtney, to, to even say, because I would ask him now, you know, uh, it seems strange that me and Dave never really uh, talked, never really hit it off, because I, didn't, I wasn't really bothered, you know, I wasn't really bothered about other people, I was an unlicensed fighter. To me, anybody, anybody that was like, I didn't care, they was just a, an opponent for me or someone to have a fight with. It didn't matter who they were or what they were. I didn't bother about names, it didn't bother me. And all I was bothered about, all I bothered about is getting money to fight people, you know what I mean? So, you know, they caught it to me, it was no one, you know, no nothing or no one, you know? And, 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 when, and when I heard that he died and got killed, he shot himself or whatever, you know, all their memories just come back. And I didn't want to say nothing because People were getting upset about certain things, so I thought, leave it, you know what I mean? But it's strange, you know, it's just strange uh, uh, the way the way it, things go, isn't it? You know what I mean? To see the guy like that uh, face to face and not even know him, mate. I never really knew him after that. I only just seen him the once uh, down down under the under the car park. And I've got a funny feeling that the black guy that he was with could have been the black guy that so uh, bashed me up, yeah? Yeah, it could well be. And, uh, you know, I'd love to know now. I'd love to know, because I don't even know the name, mate. It's, it's just, you know, shocked me not to know the name. You know, obviously you get bashed up twice or whatever by someone, and you like to know the name at the end of the day. Anyway, bang, 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 nice one.